throw rubber wrong, 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 wrong. Hi, we are here with Matt. He's a boy from Louisiana, New Orleans, but now he's in our high school in Moreda teaching us English. What is the worst thing of Spain? The worst thing of Spain? <laughs> Bull, you're starting off with hard questions. <laughs> um, uh, well, I, I keep up with the news, and the worst thing in Spain is definitely the unemployment that's happening. Um, I know uh, there's a strong amount of it, and um, yeah, that to me is, it's hard. These are hard times now, and you can't deny it, so that, these are... And the best? The best thing is, uh, uh, for me, is... <laughs> how diverse all the cultures are here. You, you can go from Galicia to Asturias and then Castilla León and it changes dramatically. So just the cultural diversity. But um, the food, yeah. In Asturias I'm obsessed with uh, cachopo. <laughs> obsessed. Obsessed. Um, which Spanish words are your favorite? My Spanish word is my favorite. Uh, oof. I love the word arándanos. <laughs> Carambanos, um, words with the A, with lots of words with lots of A's in it. Um, Andalusia, I know it's a region, but I like the word a lot. I like Andalusia. Um, there's another word I remember reading. Let, I'll, it'll come to me in a while though. But uh, Arándanos y Carambanos are my two favorites. Um, why did you decide to come to Spain? I did a uh, study abroad in Argentina, and that's when I started uh, learning Spanish. Mm. And one of my friends from uh, that study abroad was telling me about this auxiliar program. And I did my first year in Segovia, and I fell in love with Spain immediately. Segovia is beautiful. Uh, the Alcázar, the aqueduct is there. And all the cities in Castilla León I thought were just beautiful. Avila, Salamanca, Burgos. and. Um, but it was, uh, I did a trip with my friends from Segovia, and we went to Asturias. And just the drastic change of landscape from Castileon, flat and brown, and then just green, beautiful mountains. And I said to myself, I need to, I need to live in Asturias. <laughs> um, what is your favorite Spanish food? Cachopo. Cachopo. Um, whenever we took the first trip to Asturias, we had, uh, we had fabada. We tried some callos, and then finally I got this cachopo that was bigger than the plate. <laughs> and it's impossible not to like a food that is veal mixed with ham and goat cheese and fried and potatoes and some people. It's divine. Divinity. What do you think about when you hear the word Spain? Uh, I think about partying. <laughs> I know how the parties go. Um, having fun with your friends. It's very easy to meet people. Yeah. Um, it's very open. Uh, when I lived in Ponte Vedra last year, I met all sorts of friends. And this year, uh, it's, it's good because you meet other auxiliares, you meet people from outside. And yeah, um, I know maybe a lot of people don't like to hear that as being the stereotype, but you have fun, you enjoy life here. <laughs> and I, I do too. <laughs> Um, where will you go next year? Next year I want more Astorias. Okay. <laughs> I want more Astorias. Um, I've been wanting to come here for four years, so I've tried so hard to come here, I don't think I should be here one year and then go to another place. So I'm trying to get back here next year. But uh, I asked for Cangas de Elise. I want oh. to see more of the east and uh, be kind of close to the ocean. Because I love, I love small towns on the ocean. Last year, for example, in Ponte Vedra and Rias Baixas, mm. I thought it was awesome. So if I could be near the uh, sea, that would be cool. Um, do you like Spanish culture? Well, yeah, of course. I, I love it. Um, <laughs> it's, I'm obsessed. I've uh, been here five, six, five, five years now, I guess, sporadic. And um, it's my place where I prefer to be. Uh, I know Andalusia. I know here in the north, people don't like flamenco so much, but I no. no but I love the guitar. I play guitar, and I love uh, I love listening to all the music. You know, Paco de Lucia, Paco Pena, 
Savikas, he's old school, but he was a great um, guitarist. And there's uh, the Spanish music first is what I like the most. Um, Isaac Albeniz was an awesome uh, composer. He did a piece called Astorias. Oh. I'm learning that right now. But um, uh, yeah, F above all the music. Music, the food, and the party. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your favorite place in Astorias? My favorite place in Asturias. Right now, um, from what I've seen, I was taken with uh, Pablo, um, the other professor. I think he teaches with diversificación. He took me to Parque mm. Uvinas, yeah. and just the park was massive. The landscapes, the greenery. But I want to see, I haven't seen Covadonga yet. I'm going to try to go there. And uh, as far as cities, I like Gijón, going out there. Having some sidra, looking for a cachopo, <laughs> the, the beach, San Lorenzo, and hanging out with my friends there. So I would say Ubinas for landscape and culture, uh, city wise, Gijon. On your favorite things, or Gijon? My favorite things something? in Gijon? Uh, what's, the, what's the plata called? There's a little. Um, Levadero is a... Is that Levadero? A, yeah, there's a plaza there that's really cool. You can go outside and sit down. Oh, yeah. When, okay. it's, when it's sunny, and it's nice. Um, the big green park, where there's that big uh, sculpture. Uh, just going out there, having a picnic up there, and walking around the beach. The beach is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your hobbies? Hobbies, guitar. I play a lot of guitar when I go home. Um, I started learning classical when I was in Segovia, and so I'm learning some pieces now. Uh, playing a lot of basketball, uh, riding my bike, um, reading, talking to my friends on WhatsApp. It's, it's WhatsApp just <laughs> kills us, it dominates us. But I send yes. lots of silly, stupid things via WhatsApp and having, oh, cool. having a laugh, yeah. Well, now I'm going to say a word, and you have to say a group answer, okay? Okay. Well, What comes city? to mind whenever you yeah. say the word? Right. A city? I'm sorry? A city. A city. A a, like a TV series? No, a city. A oh, city. a city. A city. Yeah. Any city? Yeah. What are you saying? Okay. Um, let's say... Uh, does it have to be a Spanish city? No, you have to say one. Okay, a city. Ma Baton Rouge, because I have to correct you, because you said I was from New Orleans. But I'm from Baton Rouge. But New Orleans is the most known city in Louisiana. But my city's Baton Rouge. So just uh, just to let y'all know, Baton Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, a country. A country, Mexico. Oh, why? Because it's it's south of the states and it's it's cool. I was in Mexico for a while. Yeah, you're cool. I, my favorite food is uh, of different Mexican nationalities food. is Mexican food because yeah. I like spicy, spicy food. <laughs> yes, give me some spices. I want, I want to be crying. <laughs> I want to be crying in my mouth, breathing fire. You like chile? Yeah, mole. Oh. Mole. You had mole before. Mole. <laughs> mole. mole. <laughs> <laughs> um, a book. A book. Um, Your favorite. I just read a book called Kindred recently. I read it again. It's um, by Alice Walker, and it's like uh, she tells a story. She goes back in time. She plays the role of this uh, black woman that has to go back in time whenever uh, slavery existed in the States. And it's just a powerful, powerful, powerful book. <laughs> and it's uh, very well written. And um, she's an excellent writer and a poet. So, Kindred. Oh. I recommend it. <laughs> Um, a writer? A writer? Um, let's see, who's the first writer that comes to mind? Harper Lee. Harper Lee. Uh, she wrote a book called To Kill a Mockingbird, which tells the story of uh, Southern culture around Alabama. Um, uh, I think it's Mataron Ruiz in Spanish. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's like one of the most important books we have to read in the South. And uh, this writer, Harper Lee, is writing another book right now. Uh, that, um, or she wrote the book already, and they're going to publish it. And people are freaking out because uh, To Kill a Mockingbird was like the only book she's known for. 
It's the only book she's known to write, to have written. And uh, so the second book is, we'll see how it is. I don't know if it's published yet or not, but uh, if it's out, I'd like to buy it and read it yeah, immediately. Uh, culture? Culture. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, Galician culture, because I was there last year. Uh, I, I loved it. I loved I love the Galician accent. I love the seafood. I love the the in, inter, interior there in, uh, in Pontevedra. I liked um, going to Furanchos with my friend Manuel. I liked the <laughs> beaches. Um, I thought I think Galicia is one of the most interesting and unique cultures that uh, that I. Um, a film? A film. Uh, the Departed. I just downloaded The Departed last night. Mm -hmm. And it's an extremely bloody and violent and <laughs> crazy film by Martin Scorsese. He's obsessed with these themes of violence, mm -hmm. but it's such a complex, you like crazy Gordon? movie. What's that? Gore? Do you like Gore? No, not really. I'm not a fan of too much blood, but just this film in particular is so insane that I really wanted to see it again. So, I downloaded it, but while I was downloading it, I made Katie freak them, and <laughs> I like that in Spanish. And uh, so, I'll probably watch it tonight. The Departed. <laughs> yeah. um, a director? Oof. Um, Wes Anderson is one of my favorite directors. He did uh, Royal Tenenbaums. Um, uh, the movie with the hotel that was recently made, um, Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Yes. Wonderful. He's just a great... It's weird, but it's... Strange. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like his the cinematography, his use of colors, yeah. and he's a very... He's obsessed that he has to have, when he films, like, it has... Every single uh, scene has to... The camera is, like, perfectly in the yeah. middle. And um, all his movies. He's a great storyteller. He tells a good, good story. And last one, a feeling? A feeling. Uh, peace. Peace is a good feeling. <laughs> I'm living now in Cabana Quinta, and the countryside around there uh, makes me feel at peace and calm. I go walking around, say, Rapio, uh, hasta Uries, and then there's other places, Coto de Bello. It's just, I like the animals, sheep. Goats and horses, it's just beautiful. So, feeling at peace out in Astoria Centennial. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. No problem, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>